Hi all, today I am going to talk about GATE 2022 results which was announced a couple of days back. So first we will talk about rank and score. So score is something which is used to normalize the marks across different years because GATE now allows up to uh, uh, allows the score to be used up to three years. So, uh, but the number of seats uh, for admissions uh, directly relates to rank because say you have rank 300 and there are 300 uh, general seats available so you can expect to get an admission uh, based on this but uh, the, uh, it is difficult to uh, derive an uh, estimate for uh, like a cutoff for score because it can vary uh, depending on the difficulty of a paper so now coming to gate 2022 scores uh, so this paper is considered tough but actually it is not considered tough it was actually tough compared to almost any of the previous four or five years the top uh, 0.1 percentage uh, average mark was only 66.6 .6, which was uh, almost nine uh, marks higher in 2021 and similarly the cutoff mark was only 25 whereas it was 28.5 last year so actually these two uh, values are directly used in the score calculation and that is why the score for the same uh, mark or uh, even the same uh, rank has come down significantly this year for example if you consider score 771 the rank is 297 this year but uh, the same score got a rank 258 last year and if you are going to score 556 the rank this year is 2008 whereas uh, a slightly better score got a rank uh, 2877 last year so the rank difference for the same score is around 40 uh, at around 300 rank uh, but it is it jumps to more than 900 at around 2000 rank so this uh, effectively means that someone who got a rank to or 2900 last year is effectively standing at a rank 2000 this year so they have a big advantage so now uh, we can see the expected cutoff ranks which uh, which is almost the same uh, in last two or three years. So the first preferred uh, uh, place for uh, computer science students is IAC or IITB. And typically the cutoff rank changes from anywhere from 60 to 100 for direct admit and uh, i think since from last year uh, iac for uh, almost all the departments are conducting a uh, test which was uh, not there uh, before that so uh, since there is a test the uh, the cutoff can go uh, higher typically they will call up to rank uh, 500 or gate score 750 or 800 uh, for for the test so uh, I would say like uh, even those with 400 or 500 rank has a chance there and IIT Bombay last year uh, typically they have uh, 50 general uh, merit seats for computer science TA but out of this around uh, 20 or oh, 15 was uh, trans uh, changed to uh, MS admission so that is why the typical cutoff uh, from around 90 to 100 rank came down to I think it was 65 so again that means more chance for those who are attending interview and uh, IIT Madras and IIT, IIT Madras, Kanpur and Karakpur they do direct admit IIT Delhi have an interview but the weightage of interview is less so that means those who are having high ranks or like uh, below two, 240 have have a higher chance uh, iit gohati hyderabad and roorkee they all do direct admit so the typical last rank uh, go can go up to 350 or even can go to 
maybe 400 or so depending on uh, the other interview admissions also now uh, now there will be a research interview calls for some uh, mtech course program for example uh, cds in iac uh, artificial intelligence in iac and all the uh, research programs and they have the research interview call so uh, typically the uh, they the cutoff will be based on score which can be around 700 or 650 and the corresponding rank will be around 500 or uh, i know like people with even 1500 have got uh, not the calls but even the admission so now we also have new iits where the direct admit uh, rank can be uh, anywhere between 500 and 1000 and for uh, all the NITs, you can see the uh, actual uh, score cutoff at CCMT official website. This uh, link given here is like uh, have data taken from the uh, official site, but restricted to computer science department only. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, all the rank cutoff I told is for general merit only, not even uh, EWS. So uh, you can get uh, more details at the uh, these two links where uh, like they are not complete, but whatever uh, information we have got, we have added it there. So uh, initially I had told about uh, gate score being uh, lowered uh, this year for the same uh, rank. So that also means that uh, almost all the cutoffs will be lower here. So I, uh, in this slide, I am just showing an example taking NIT Trichy Computer Science. So in 2021, the fourth round cutoff scored for general was 713. And the corresponding rank was 637. So now uh, the score for rank 637 in this year is 692. So we can expect that the cutoff in this year will be around 692. So that means a drop of nearly uh, 21 uh, for the score. And similarly, all the other cutoffs uh, based on score uh, is likely to come down. So if someone is interested, <laughs> they are welcome to do the this estimate for all the courses and all the categories too. So now I will talk about some uh, recommendations. So I think it's almost a, a more than a month since gate exam was over and already I have I, I am seeing like uh, some people doing a lot of assignments preparing for interviews but many people are just worrying about uh, the result and doing nothing. So my suggestion is that anyone below 350 rank you should uh, complete all the programming assignments in Go Classroom. So uh, these are not just for the uh, IIT interviews, but will be useful even for your uh, MTech placements. And uh, if your rank is below 1000 for general category, I would say the bet uh, better option than gate will be triple uh, IT's or uh, bits. So you should um, give importance to those exams. So uh, for uh, reserved categories, including EWS, um, uh, you have all the cutoff details for uh, CCMT. Uh, but uh, for IITs, uh, those are like uh, not easily available. But if you if you take the NIT Trichy cutoff, that will give a clue like uh, which IITs uh, you will be getting. Now, um, I have seen many people uh, asking like which NIT I will get. So the thing is, uh, you might be getting some NIT, but is there a point in joining there? Uh, because NITs uh, have high fee. So you should join only if you can expect a good placement. And some of the low level NITs don't have good placement. So you should think twice before joining there. 
now coming to research admissions which includes uh, ra uh, ms and phd so here your advisor matters a lot not uh, which is not the case for mtech course program because uh, there you will be taking almost 10 courses and uh, you will be uh, interacting with uh, 10 different faculties but for research you will be mostly uh, interacting with just your advisor and so uh, if you if you don't like him or if he doesn't like you it will be a problem and also uh, the quality of research which he does will directly affect you so uh, you should check his uh, recent publications and also talk to good senior uh, research scholars from under him and they can guide you better and uh, as we have seen already uh, people uh, this year you have the score advantage means for the same rank you are having a uh, higher uh, sorry <laughs> for the uh, given rank you are having a low score this year so now uh, what will happen if you don't take admission this year and try in next year so if the next year paper is uh, even tougher than this year you will have the same advantage which last year people are having now but based on uh, the historical data this year paper was the toughest so next year paper going even tougher is less likely so my suggestion would be to take admission this year itself and for uh, research uh, i suggest to look at csrankings.org and ignore uh, nerf or any other rankings because those are uh, ranked based on uh, i would say not so important uh, parameters Now coming to placement statistics, which I, I believe everyone looks at. So since everyone looks at it, there are a lot of uh, misinformation there. Uh, if you look at the placement statistics of any institute, you will see like some XLPA as uh, highest salary, median salary, average salary, etc. But when you say something like X lakhs per annum, at least you should be getting that in one year right but even that is not true uh, for example a top company uh, i am using the name uh, uh, like symbol a here but it can refer to uh, many top companies including for example microsoft uh, they offer like 40 lpa where the salary might be only 15 and 25 uh, can be in stocks means and the stock will be like uh, you will get one third of the stock in after one year uh, the next one third after two years and the final one third after three years so basically your effective net pay for a uh, first year will be 15 plus one by third of 25 which comes to around 23 lpa so ideally or they should have mentioned 23.3 lpa as the ctc but since 40 looks better everyone does this kind of manipulation so whenever you see the placement stats uh, take it with a uh, pinch of salt <laughs> now the other thing is uh, typically the triple it placement stats are better compared to nits so one of the reason is that typically the computer science department has uh, the best placement in almost any good institute so triple it being one where uh, there are uh, only computer science or computer science and related uh, branches they typically has better uh, placement record overall and most triple it's have a culture of coding and this also helps in placements so yeah here i have given some uh, useful links uh, which you can refer for preparing for interviews and also for getting uh, last rank details. So all the best for this year admission. My suggestion is to wait 
uh, till the last round because typically those uh, who wait till the last round get the best option there is no need to panic after first round of uh, allotment because everyone will be fighting for all the seats so uh, the cutoff changes a lot after uh, round two or three and if you are sure of getting a good institute like say your rank is 100 uh, there is no point uh, in you applying at uh, say iit guwahati or uh, iit roorkee you are sure of iit madras karakpur or kanpur so just apply at those places yeah so that's it thank you